Good evening students, my name is Vijay Gupta and you are watching Biology Classes. Students, from today I am going to start lecture series for 11th student. Chapter wise lectures will be provided by me for all the 11th students. So, first of all, I am going to start your chapter number 1 which is the living world. In this video, I will tell you about the characteristics of living and in further videos, I will tell you about all the important topics of chapter number 1, 2 and 3. So, let's start the video. First of all, in this chapter, the most important question is and the first question is, what is living? So, we all know that we are living being. We all know that plants are living, some animals of our environment, they are also living. So, what is the mean of living here? Any organism that shows the characteristics of life, any organism that shows the characteristics of life or any organism which shows the characteristic of life is known as living. Means if you are living means you have the characters of life. So what is the mean of characters of life? Here I gave you different types of characters of life or you can say these are the characteristics of living. So one by one I will tell you about the characteristics of living. So now you know what is the meaning of living. Any organism that shows the characters of life like human being, plants and other animals is known as living. So now I will tell you about the characteristic of living. First of all number one protoplasm and cellular organization now what is the mean of that we all know that our body is made up of cell cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living being so this is a cell inside the cell a nucleus is present and a liquid which is filled inside the cell is known as protoplasm protoplasm so the basic unit of all the living being is a cell now when numerous cells combined with each other a group of cells is formed which is known as a tissue so it is a single cell now it is the group of cell which referred as tissue now group of tissues is known as an organ so here I made an organ which is liver so it is the organ made up of different kinds of tissues now when the organs are combined with each other then organ systems are formed organ system means like digestive system respiratory system excretory system reproductive system circulatory system all the systems of our body and finally when all the organ system combined with each other then an organism is formed or a body is formed so the basic unit of living being is cell so it is known as cellular organization means the body of living is made up of cells now what about protoplasm as i described before that inside the cell protoplasm is filled and inside the protoplasm different kinds of cell organelles are present like mitochondria Golgi body chloroplast etc etc so the protoplasm is the living content which filled inside the cell so all the living being all the living being in this world consists of protoplasm in their cells and their body is made up of cells so the cellular organization it was the point number one that all living being have protoplasm and they consist of cells their body made up of cells now I'll tell you about the second point what is this definite shape and size it is very important all the living being consist of a definite shape definite shape means suppose for an example as uh, I say like a loin an elephant a duck a crow whatever every living being each living being have a definite shape and definite size suppose that I said to you that students imagine a quail bird imagine a quail bird you will all imagine the same quail bird 
बट सपोज इफ आई से स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट इमेजिन अ कोल और अ स्टोन यू विल नॉट इमेजिन द स्टोन और अ कोल ऑफ सेम साइज सम स्टूडेंट विल इमेजिन द कोल लाइक दिस साइज सम विल लाइक दिस साइज एंड सम मे बी लाइक दिस सो लिविंग हैव अ डेफिनेट शेप एंड साइज वाइल नॉन लिविंग्स डो नॉट हैव डेफिनेट शेप एंड साइज इट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग सो द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट कैरेक्टर ऑफ लिविंग इज दे हैव डेफिनेट शेप एंड साइज ना वट अबाउट द पॉइंट नंबर थ्री मेटाबोलिज्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो वॉट इज मेटाबोलिज्म ऑल द केमिकल रिएक्शंस विच टेक्स प्लेस इन साइड अवर बॉडी आर टर्म एज मेटाबोलिज्म आई रिपीट इन अवर बॉडी देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मेटाबोलिक एक्टिविटीज टेक्स प्लेस सच एज रेस्पिरेशन न्यूट्रिशन एक्सक्रीशन मोस्ट ऑफ द केमिकल रिएक्शन द सम ऑफ दिस केमिकल रिएक्शन इज टर्म एज मेटाबोलिक रिएक्शन और मेटाबोलिज्म सो ऑल द केमिकल रिएक्शन ऑफ अवर बॉडी आर टर्म एज मेटाबोलिज्म नाउ दिस मेटाबोलिज्म इज फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू टाइप्स एनाबोलिज्म एंड कैटाबोलिज्म नो वट अबाउट एनाबोलिज्म when our body obtain something when our body obtain something or any substance form inside the body inside the cells then the phenomenon is known as or then the reaction is known as anabolic reaction and the process is known as anabolism but if something is going to be decomposed in our body then the phenomenon or the process is called catabolism the best example of anabolism is nutrition nutrition is a process by which an organism obtain food and store energy in the body in different forms such as protein carbohydrate fat etc etc so nutrition is an example for the anabolism or anabolic activity while respiration as you know that respiration in is a process in which glucose is oxidized and energy liberated so catabolic uh, catabolic reactions best example is respiration in which glucose is oxidized and energy liberated so any reaction in which something is decomposing in our body it is referred as catabolism or catabolic activities now i will tell you about the next point that is growth now what is the growth so so the next characteristic is growth now what is growth i want to give you an example suppose that when you was when you were 2 years old the size of your hand was this and now you are in 11th class so you are about 16 years old so the size of your hand is this what is this this is termed as growth means the permanent change in the size of an organism size and mass also in an organism is termed as growth and the growth shows only uh, the growth is found only in the living beings the non living do not show any type of growth so this is the growth and growth is the important characteristic feature of all the living beings now next is reproduction what is reproduction reproduction is a process through which an organism give birth to their young ones to continue their existence in this world i repeat re reproduction is a process through which an organism give birth to their young one so reproduction for example exa for example suppose that it is an organism maybe a duck it reproduce it is egg laying animal and after the hatching of eggs some small ducklings are produced so these are the ducklings and this phenomenon is known as reproduction so reproduction is a process by which an organism gives birth to their young one so this is reproduction and reproduction is found only in the living beings non livings do not reproduce so it is again an important characteristic of living beings that is reproduction next is adaptation adaptation means what adaptation is actually a capability of an organism to adjust themselves 
in the environmental conditions suppose that a fish is living in a what in, in a pond in a pond or in a sea and the fish consists of gills suppose that this is a fish and this fish consists of gills for respiration for aquatic respiration gills are the organs for respiration inside the water and present in the fishes so if this fish do not have any type of gills then it is unable to resp take respiration uh, complete respiration inside the water so uh, gills are the organs through which it makes their adaptation with its environment another example that may be a bird suppose that this is a bird and this bird consists of wings for flying without wings it cannot fly so presence of wings is the adaptation of this word so any organism any organism have different kinds of structures through which adaptation takes place so adaptation is a capability of an organism through which it survive in its environment without these structures it cannot survive in this world so adaptation is very important for the survival and adaptation is only present in the living beings again an important character for the living beings okay now the last character is movement and locomotion what is movement and locomotion movement takes place on a definite uh, position suppose that i am moving my head i am moving my hand it is the movement without change in position if the organism moves rapidly on a place without changing its position then it is called movement but if the position is changed suppose that this time i'm here and i uh, after some time i'll reach there so it is the locomotion in locomotion position is changed while in movement position does not change that is the difference between movement and locomotion so movement and locomotion again an important character of all living beings the living shows movement and locomotion while non living do not show some students may be confused about the plants that uh, the, does plant plant locomote no students plants only shows movement not locomotion now how plant shows movements i'll tell you in the later videos how plant takes movements so in this video i told you about the characteristics of living being so students i hope all things are very clear to you if you have any type of confusion any question you may ask in the comment section so in this video it was all about the characteristics of living videos sorry uh, characteristics of living in the next lecture i'll tell you about the differences of living and non living and other important topics of chapter number 1 so thanks for watching have a good day